Let's take the example of sodium. We know that the atomic number of sodium is 11 and mass number is 23. It's mean that number of protons are 11 and number of electrons are 11 because number of electrons are always equal to number of protons. Now let's see what is the formation of sodium ion. When sodium will lose its one electron, so only 10 electrons will be left. and a positive charge will appear on the sodium now what is happening if we see the number of the protons were 11 number of electrons 11 but now after losing one electron the number of electrons will be left 10 now which charge is more on sodium positive or negative obviously the positive charge is more that's why on sodium the positive charge will appear n i negatively charged ions are called anions and if we take the example so chlorine minus 1 oxygen minus 2 and nitrogen is minus 3 the question arises why negative charge appear on non metals if we see the chlorine the atomic number is 17 and mass number is 35 It's mean that 17 protons are present and 17 electrons are present. The number of proton is always equal to the number of electrons. So in chlorine 17 protons and 17 electrons are present. Let's see the formation of chlorine anion. When chlorine will accept the one electron so its number of electrons after getting one electron will become 18 and a negative charge will appear on the chlorine because chlorine accepted only one electron so o one will appear on the chlorine and now negative charge is more as compared to positive charge in chlorine so that's why negative charge will appear on the chlorine So this is the formation of anion. You can apply same for minus two charges and minus three charges. It depends upon the number of electrons and element will gain. Some students are confused between cations and anion. So just remember, cations are good. From cations, you can remember cations positive. Anions are bad. From anions, you can remember anions are negative. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it will be helpful for teachers and students. For further interesting chemistry videos, stay tuned with Chemistry Tutor Edge.